I call the member for Mayo. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Today I'm wearing a set of rainbow coloured beads, and it's an apt day for it. But this necklace uh, is actually because of the bead ladies of the um, refugee camp uh, called Nacaville in uh, and they're made of old paper calendars, and they are in Uganda. And I purchased these from Australia Hope International, Jambo Sana uh, African Card and Gift Shop in Nairn in my electorate. They cost me $20, which I mentioned because $19 of this money went back to the Congolese and Rwanda women who made them. 95 per cent of all profits from these handmade arts and crafts go back to these women, and they allow them uh, to be able to uh, create a business with their jewellery and uh, send their children to school. This women's group is one of many projects coordinated by Australian Hope International and their partner organisations in Uganda. And, uh, all of this was started 17 years ago by Bill and Norma Osborne of Nairn, who went on a mission trip to Uganda and returned determined to make a difference. Bill and Norma, with their team, are living examples of the words spoken by scientist Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you.